What is going on guys, Gabzero here bringing you a League of Legends commentary and today I'm playing Fizz and you're gonna see me tabbing out of League of Legends here to some YouTube video commercial, I don't know, but uh, some babes in the background for you guys. Uh, but I'm playing Fizz mid and <clears throat> I'm a little bit sore in my throat, but it's okay, I think. Uh, but I'm up versus TF, which is a bad pick against Fizz because I can just uh, jump over his stuns and uh, any wild card really <clears throat> and I can um, kill him pretty easily his ult is also pretty interruptible with my ult and uh, he's a squishy target for a champion like Fizz so that's why I'm going to get the first blood right here I'm gonna get the ignite basic attack he's not even gonna flash because he realizes that he's dead anyway and I'm gonna go back to farming and I haven't posted a Fizz gameplay ever so I thought I'd do that and this was a pretty funny game me and Rengar had a little bit of a meme going on uh, you're gonna see that later we're gonna we're gonna be uh, we're gonna type I can't even speak it we're gonna type a l mao after every kill we get and that's a meme if you didn't know or a meme I don't know mem whatever you want to call it but it's an internet joke if you're new um, <clears throat> but you can check I actually I can put a picture of it right here there you go there that's how it looks and we're gonna type that this is quite a dominating game Rengar is gonna get fed I'm gonna get really really fed and we're just gonna stomp these uh, people I'm gonna bait the recall right here I think soon uh, pretty soon <laughs> Or I'm just gonna flash in actually and get the kill and I actually got that basic attack off that was weird that was really weird mid flash or something after he flashed I got the basic attack on him uh, but he's gonna teleport back or someone is gonna teleport in I'm gonna get the blue right here and I am gonna head back to base uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I've been thinking about doing uh, and that is streaming making a stream on uh, Twitch TV or something like that. I know some people have been asking for that, but I'm a bit worried that I wouldn't get um, any views. Like, I'm not that big like on YouTube. So, and I've lost a little bit of uh, active subscribers lately because I've been a little bit inactive. I'm sorry for that, but I hope to, oops, got a message right, right there if you heard that. Um, but I've been a little bit inactive. <clears throat> On YouTube and thanks to that I've been losing uh, active viewers and uh, some subs I'm still gaining subs but I feel like I should upload more funny moments and stuff like that because people really enjoy that and actually my funny moments episode got taken down for some weird reason uh, I had some extra tags in the description and uh, apparently that wasn't allowed uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers have that and uh, they still have their videos on YouTube but I guess they changed their policy and I'm gonna bait Fizz here he's gonna go in for the wild card he's gonna get fucked in the face anyway I'm sorry for that uh, vulgar language I'm gonna get away a little bit lucky I'm gonna tell him next time you let me back okay cuz I just really just I really just wanted to go to base I didn't bait him at all actually um, and he says never Okay, then I'm just gonna get some more kills on you. It, it, that, it's not a problem for me. I mean, I, I, I can get fed. That's not that's not a problem. Um, but however, streaming. Um, let's get back to that. I wonder how many of you guys would like to see a stream. Because it's different from what I generally uh, have done on YouTube. I like to make videos and I like to edit stuff. I have, I'm gonna be making a uh, commentary. Or uh, what am I saying? Uh, <laughs> montage, I think. With Needly, I'm thinking. I'm collecting clips for that because I think Needly is so much fun. And I'm maining her and I play her a lot. And she, you can make pretty nice plays with her. And I really want to make a montage. I've always wanted to do that ever since I started playing <clears throat> um, League of Legends. Because I used to play Call of Duty and a lot of people, uh, me and my friends, were doing montages or episodes of nice clips that we got in the game and people used to edit that together and everything like that you know uh, and I was editing a lot I was editing for other people too uh, so I know to edit mo how to edit montages uh, quite well I might have forgotten a little bit about it but I still want to do it 
uh, I not, might not be that good anymore, but I want to make a, a needling montage so bad. So I'm, I'm going to try to do that. <clears throat> but, but the point I'm trying to make is that I generally like to edit stuff and make videos like that. And try to be, you know, montage or commentaries aren't that creative in the editing. It's this, this isn't that, I mean, creative like that. This is more like a stream. This is, this is like a stream, but after the games and ju just a normal commentary. But it's not as creative as making a montage or funny moments can sometimes be a little bit more creative or a champion uh, parody spotlight or something like that. <laughs> Uh, but a stream is very different from all that. It's just playing the game basically and I've never I've always been more focused on YouTube rather than the game But I've been I've been trying to climb and I'm gold too right now And I really want to get to platinum uh, and I think I can do that So I really want to make a stream. I'm gonna outplay this uh, TF so hard here. <laughs> He's gonna flash I'm just gonna Q and flash perfect. He made it easier to get that kill <clears throat> And I really want to have a stream, but I feel like I might not get that many viewers and it will be hard to get a time where I can do it because, you know, my parents might be home and they they will bother me and my dog, uh, I'll need to take my dog out for a walk and shit like that. So it's kind of, it's a little bit hard. Also with school and stuff that starts again, but you know. Sometimes I can maybe pull off a stream, but I, I wonder how many of you would watch that. That's my question to you guys, so answer that in the comments right now while I am drinking my Fanta. So we're gonna push down the mid lane, get two towers, and I am 8 and 0. Going flawless, that's my goal for this game. I'm gonna try to uh, get 0 deaths and just get as fed as possible this game uh, we're all grouped up for a team fight at mid and we are eventually gonna go into this brush where uh, they don't have a ward I think they might go for the ward oh actually they had a ward and Sivir went for the Q and I just engaged we're so fed that it doesn't really matter who we focus even though I ulted Aatrox I should have probably ulted uh, Sivir or something like that but it didn't really matter, we just needed the engage. Although, two people in our team died, so that wasn't the best trade since we're ahead. So, getting the dragon after that uh, made it all worth. <laughs> and I head for the blue, and then I go back to base. Nope, Blitzcrank comes and I can kill him. Uh, <laughs> and I might actually go for TF here as well. So I'm gonna jump in for him. He's gonna use his stupid Sonic's Hourglass. And I'm gonna try to run. I'm gonna use my E. Ooh, and I'm gonna get away. So sneaky. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit in the game because it's a lot of boring farming. And we are gonna go straight into the action where I kill, or uh, Rangar kills uh, Sever. And you're gonna see in the chat, look at that, AL Mao. Every time we get a kill from this point, you can see I, I wrote it earlier too. <laughs> we type it all the time AL Mao, AL Mao, AL Mao. <clears throat> and it's quite funny. I don't know why. Where does that meme come from? Can anyone tell me? Because it's it's like an alien, and it's I think the original meme is like an alien, and and it's a uh, it says A L Mao. Uh, so a turret dive doesn't really matter if he's got a spell shield, or actually it does matter because they're gonna turn this. He's gonna come in for the teleport. Actually no, we're gonna go back. I'm so confused. I don't I don't know about this game. This, this is a pretty old gameplay. Uh, we're gonna turn that actually. And I'm gonna get a kill. Uh, and I'm 13 and 0, don't really want to die, this is this is the unlucky number. <laughs> As you can see, 13 is an unlucky number, and I just realized that now, because this is the number that's gonna get me killed, actually I get 14 kills here, but Sivir's gonna flash over, she's gonna use her heal or whatever, or flash her ult, and a lot of movement speed, so she can catch up with me as well as that passive, and I'm like, no, like Darth Vader. And of course, Rengar types A L Mao. <clears throat> so I convinced them all to go mid because we're kind of throwing at this point. They're starting dr uh, Baron right here. I'm just gonna go in all in on this. Uh, what is it called? Aatrox. Uh, because I'm so fed, I can take him out pretty easily. I'm gonna use my Sonyas. We're at least gonna stop them from getting the Baron, and that's good. We got one kill. I got killed. A little bit stupid, but it's gonna stop them. 
<coughs> from Doom Baron, and that's that's worth it. So they're gonna kill Thresh right here, and I'm getting a little bit worried at this point. You know, Rangar doesn't give a shit. He's like AL Mao, AL Mao, AL Mao. I don't even know if he knows that we can actually lose this game. You know, that's a possibility. I've thrown or won. I've turned games that were literally impossible. People have gone AFK. Maybe not AFK. It's it's kind of hard to turn 4v5 when you're. Uh, down with kills, but <clears throat> I've turned games where people gone like, oh my god, surrender, and everyone is flaming, and everyone is crying, and want to surrender, but I, I really never surrender, and that's that's increasing, that has probably increased my win ratio, ratio or my, uh, my chance to win, basically, by quite a bit, because, I mean, you only lose when it says defeat on your freaking screen, so don't, don't surrender. You can turn basically any game, and the more fed the enemies are, the more confident they get. Like Rengar, for example, he's just AL Mao, AL Mao, and he doesn't realize that we can actually lose, but we're gonna get the ace, so it doesn't matter, because I guess we focused, even though <coughs> we were kind of trolling a bit, but that's not gonna be the end. Uh, we're gonna go for a quick little Baron soon. And I'm gonna go back to the base for some health and we're gonna group up for the Baron. And once again, we get the Baron and not a lot of things happen. So I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit in the game. We actually lost Baron and we didn't do anything with it. I don't know what happened, but a fight is gonna start here. Uh, somehow, we managed to win this because I've got so many abilities to make me unkillable. My E on a short cooldown and my Sun is Hourglass. And I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here. I want him to outplay this Volibear. <clears throat> Fresh is gonna throw his E and Q and everything. And I should have gone back, maybe. And I'm like, oh shit, Volibear! And I jump instead of I could have jumped out and just started running, but he had he had ignite. So when I went back in, I just died immediately. But it's still gonna be the end of the game because you know AL Mao always wins the game. Type that in chat and you'll win every time. I swear. I swear it by the old gods and new. Nice Game of Thrones reference there. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace!